Welcome to this Code for IBMI video. In this video, we're going to talk about how to compare source physical file members. So here in VS Code, I have opened up my uh, connection to my test server, and I have my source in two libraries. I have a production source library and a test source library, and I've been working on program three, and I want to compare the version I have in test with what I have in production. So here in my test code, I'm going to right click on program three, and I'm going to select this select for compare. Then in my production source, I'm going to right click and I'm going to compare with selected. This is going to open up a side by side comparison. Let me just control B to hide my activity bar there. A side by side comparison of both source files, my test file is on the left and the production source is here on the right. So you can see that these two lines here in my test source are missing from the production source and they're highlighted in red. They've essentially been deleted from my production source. I have a current user attribute here in the PSDS that is missing from the production source. And this line down here has been modified. Notice that there's a, a, a green and red dark background on the whole line, but then there's a, a lighter highlight that tells me exactly what has changed on that line. You can see that it's changed from job user to current user. Now in this view, in this comparison view, in the diff view, if I want to incorporate these changes into the production source, all I need to do is click the little arrow here and it'll move the code from the left over to the code on the right. And now my production source matches what I have in my test library. Now right here in the source compare, you can control S to save your changes. That'll save these updates to the production version of the program. Okay, I don't want to do that. So I'm going to close this and not save because we want to point out a couple of other things. First is that yet yeah, I can compare source in different filters. They can be in different libraries, different source files, whatever, it doesn't matter. We can do those comparisons and it can even be in the IFS. So here I have program three in the IFS and I can right click and compare this version as well. And you can see that I have source in the IFS has been updated, right? And it's missing the current user and the username. And again, you can click the, the arrows and, and move these changes over into the IFS. I'll go ahead and save this one, all right? And close that out and open this program up now, and it should match what I have in my test library. Now, the one thing you can't do out of the box, at least that I'm aware of, is compare this program three or these source files, right? Maybe this whole library with the source on another server. Let's say my production server is a different LPAR and I wanna do a source comparison. Well, I'll show you how I do it. And maybe other folks have some, some better ideas, but this is what I do. I would open up another instance of VS Code. You can run it more than than once, okay, I am, go back over to this other version. What I'm gonna do is open a folder and on my desktop, create a folder called source compare, right? And open that up with VS Code. Okay. Then I'm going to connect to my production server. So I will be right back after I get connected to the server. So now I'm connected. And what I want to do is in my production source, I'm going to right click on QRPG LE source, and I'm going to download the contents of that into my source compare folder. Okay. And now it's open. I have it open in VS code. So as these get downloaded, I should see them pop in here. Okay. So they're all there. Let me close that. And now I'm going to open up my terminal and I am going to start tracking these files with git. So I'm going to git init this folder. I'm going to git add everything and git commit with minus M. This is my production source. Okay. So now all, all of these files are being tracked in git. What I want to do is go ahead and delete all of them. Okay. And now from my test 
server, right? I'm connected to the test server over here. I'm going to right click on QRPG LE source and I'm going to download those to my source compare folder, which is now empty. Now, when I come back over here, I should see these programs pop up and I have the uh, source control button over here where I can see everything that is going on. So what this is telling me is that program two has been deleted, right? So in production, I have a program two, but I don't have a program two down here in test. So this identifies this as a deleted file for me. Program three has been modified. It means it exists in both places, okay? But it's been changed. And then program four is an untracked file, which means I have it here in my test source, but I don't have it in my production source. So at a glance, I can tell you that, well, program one is unchanged, right? I don't see it here as any changes. So it hasn't been deleted or it's, it's not untracked. It hasn't been modified. It's there in both places and, and it's identical. So we, I don't have to really worry about that one, okay? Program two has been deleted. Program three has been modified and program four is a new file that is not in production. And then I can also click on program three and it will show me all of the changes that have occurred um, between my production and my test. Now, not quite as convenient. I still have to make updates and then, you know, uh, change my production code over here, but it's certainly easy enough to be able to do that uh, right from here. So I can compare these things right so i have added a couple of lines added this i've added this current user this change looks good so i can take the source code from here and copy it into my um, my production source right here this is program three and copy paste and be good to go so maybe not the best solution but it certainly works and I find that to be pretty helpful. So comparing source members between libraries, between filters, between source files and IFS stream files, and a kind of workaround for comparing source members between different servers. So that's it for this time. See you next time.